everybody welcome back to simply savory happy holidays i hope everybody is doing well today i'm going to show you how to make a ham for the christmas holiday these are all the ingredients and items you're going to need to make your ham oops almost forgot one we're going to start with the ham i have a spiral cut ham here uh, roasting pan apple cider vinegar two cans of pineapple slices ground cinnamon ground ginger ground clove maraschino cherries black pepper dijon mustard butter toothpicks honey and brown sugar the first step in making this ham is to coat the ham in mustard you can use any mustard of your choosing I'm going with Dijon mustard so you're just gonna make sure you coat it really good next thing we're gonna do here is combine all of our spices blend them really well and sprinkle it over the ham I'm gonna have my measurements down in the description box but I basically just used equal amounts of each spice but you can tailor it to your taste buds Once you're done with the spices, you're going to press the brown sugar onto the ham and let it sit for at least two hours. I'm not really measuring how much brown sugar I'm using. The original recipe that I used called for one cup, but I found that more was needed for this step. I ended up letting my ham sit overnight because it was getting a little late um, but as you can see the brown sugar has started to melt into the mustard and other ingredients and it's started to create its own juices in the bottom of the pan so what we're gonna do next is pin the pineapple slices and cherries to the ham with toothpicks Also, um, please make sure to set aside your juice from the pineapples and the cherries because we're going to be using that later on in the glaze. Once you're done with that, you're just going to add some apple cider vinegar to the bottom of the roasting pan. Again, you can make this to your taste, but I'm just putting a third cup in there. And I will also have the things that I did measure down in the description box below. In a saucepan over medium heat, we're going to add three tablespoons of butter, a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of pineapple juice, a little bit of the 
maraschino cherry juice, and a half a cup of honey for the glaze. Now this part is optional, but I decided to put a little bit of bourbon in my glaze just to add a little bit of extra flavor because why not? I mean, that's the beauty of cooking. You can just change things that you want to change and just experiment with it. Make sure you stir everything really well and continue stirring as the glaze continues to heat. As Make sure that you bring it to a simmer and allow it to continue simmering until the glaze has thickened up. Once your glaze is ready, you're just going to take a pastry brush or something and brush the glaze over the ham. Make sure you get it nice and well coated all over the ham. And don't forget to get those bottom parts as well. The ham is done and it's time to get it into the oven. You want to preheat your oven to anywhere from 320 to 350 degrees and roast it until it reaches an internal temperature of 140 for a fully cooked ham or 160 for a ham that is not fully cooked. Baste every 20 minutes and if you have any extra glaze, glaze about halfway through with the second glaze. It's been a couple hours since I've my ham has been roasting. I just finished letting it rest outside of the oven at this point. And as you can see, the ham came out beautiful. The glaze looks amazing, especially since I put that second glaze on there. And I'm just going to cut into it and see what we got. Look at that beautiful, delicious, juicy ham. I'm just going to take that little piece right there. Oh my God, I just can't help it. It looks so good. But yeah, it's delicious. Try it out. Let me know how you like it. Drop those comments. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you for watching.